Today is Friday, August 24, 2018, about 7.30 a.m. These are the wild mushrooms in my garden and uh, they are around four species. They do not thrive long when the sun comes up, especially the afternoon sun is so hot that uh, most of them just wilt and collapse. And so I'm documenting them now at this time when the afternoon sun is not up yet. Now there are about four species. This is one of the species. As you can see, this one is more on the bigger size, flat, and the color is brownish, light brown with some white. This one is one species I can see today, and uh, this is overnight, so it's still young. Now I'll go to the next species, which is a shaggy mane mushrooms, which predominates here. These are the shaggy mane mushrooms at different stages of development. As you can see, those that have upturned black, what you call that, the upper part, they are starting to wilt. Let me show you one here. You see, when they turn upwards, then after that, they will collapse. This is a different stage. Now you can see this one. They, in a, they like to grow, grow in a cluster, in a group. As you can see, different groups. So this will be the second species I'm talking about. Now when they wilt, they become black. As you can see there and disperse their spores. Those black ones are last night or two days ago. Normally by afternoon, they will wilt and collapse. So these are the shaggy main mushrooms. More of the younger ones are here. The younger ones. As you can see, they are smaller in size. Some of them grow bigger, some don't. These are the bigger ones. With very broad sides, upper. There's more shaggy mane mushrooms, the younger ones. As you can see, they look good. So this is the second species. Now I'm talking about the third species, which is more exciting for photography. These are the brown ones with a central spot, orangey brown spot. This is the third species. And you can see some millipedes around. These are the millipedes said to produce a cyanide-like substance. So this is a third species. There are three groups. This is a second group. I can see the difference in color. This is a bit prominently brown, brownish black. They have a central spot. This is the second group. And the third group is here. You can see the color is definitely distinctly orangey brown. They tend to grow in groups too. 
and uh, there might be a few isolated ones growing by themselves let me show you some there's one here one or two on its own distinctively brown orangey brown spot in the center but mostly they grow in groups and there are three groups today three groups so this is the third species and there's an another solitary one here seems to be damaged or, or broken not the usual rounded one okay so the third species now <clears throat> the fourth species are more like the umbrellas parasol and uh, today there are not many just this lot here they are not shaggy maned they don't curl up they look more like umbrellas so there are four species today with the shaggy mane mushrooms predominating about 90% of the mushrooms the wild mushrooms and uh, even the shaggy maned mushrooms have different shapes and sizes some are really small they don't grow to, to the full size you can see and then you wilt this one is wilted collapse and then disperse the spores and so you can see earlier on last few days those were the shaggy main mushrooms which have now filtered to black spots with new ones coming out when they are young they are more whitish they look like bulbs whitish bulbs there those are the young ones then they grow into this and uh, eventually bigger ones even among the shaggy maned mushrooms there are different shapes and sizes but but they become black and upturned in the hot afternoon sun so it become black as you can see it's probably the spores are there and they disperse the spores I shall end now with my favorite brownish orangey mushrooms growing tightly in a group and there are three groups the second group and this is the third group shall end now August 24th 2018 Friday Singapore wild mushrooms being documented